My friend Nick Morgenstern happens to be an ice cream genius. And this is Morgenstern's finest ice cream in New York City. And when he asked me if I would like to collaborate with him, gotta say yes. Come with me for the behind the scenes story of how the Rosenthal was created. I love the idea of the chocolate deluxe, but I also love the idea of the salted caramel pretzel. I was thinking, what if there was like a mash Merge them together. What if I could do a thing where yeah. I'd have the chocolate deluxe, but I'd put a little few pretzels and a, few car a little bit of caramel sauce on that. It would be a... It's almost like having your cake and eating it too. I would call it the annoying Rosenthal. You know, before we get to naming things, yes. I think, uh, no, I you like how I've insinuated I myself it, into your I business? Like we have yes. 88 flavors, yes. and rather than just choosing these two and mashing them together, we should just create its own thing. I like this shape. Those I, are cool. I, I, I also have... like the, the boat. I do, because it's easier to share. People so then, can dig in. Well, then maybe... For what you're talking about, maybe yours would be like a more, um, it could be like an evolved banana split. Do you, are you a banana split fan? Yeah, like that's <laughs> something, I mean, I don't know if I'm asking a rhetorical question here, but <laughs> if it involves ice cream, he's okay. Well, well, how so do you feel about sex? <laughs> Here's the holy trinity for me. You ready? Chocolate, mm -hmm. peanut butter, but man, there's something about those sure. three. We're gonna create a sundae, yeah. then we should figure out what other things we want to put in there. We have the chocolate whipped cream, we have chocolate fudge, obviously, we have regular whipped cream, nuts and things like that, but it's also sort of thinking about what are the things that you need to have in the sundae to make it a sundae. So just putting three scoops of ice cream together is three scoops of ice cream, and that's what that is. Making it a sundae, for me, in my book, is that it's gotta have whipped cream, it's gotta have a sauce, and then it's gotta have some textural element. So that yes. can be something crunchy, Nuts, right. or that could be a cakey kind of thing could right. be in there as well. This is the most serious conversation I've ever had <laughs> about ice cream. It's, it's like I'm You'll designing a house. You probably have some homework to do to figure out what would define the Rosenthal. It doesn't necessarily have to be served with fudge. I also think that if what you like is the chocolate flavored ice cream, peanut butter flavored ice cream, I kind of think that sauce-wise, you kind of lean maybe more into something like a salted caramel peanut buttery kind of sauce would like elevate and complement those things. Yeah. Ultimately, when when these things get put in front of people, the indulgent kind of like wow factor is really important. The first kind of feeling needs to be like, whoa. All right, here we go. So, some more. That's peanut butter with cream, right? Yep. Don't chocolate don't whipped cream. It. We wanted to make the best chocolate peanut butter anything ever. Let's taste this first. Yes. You see how you feel Here, about that. Here, Phil, you want that. me to film him? Yes. Here's Phil enjoying it. I'm going for a bite of the chocolate first. Keep it in there, Matt. Smooth. You can look on There's, lovingly. I think we're like times five everything, right? I'm as proud of this as anything I've ever been involved. Oh yes, very nice. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. This is the first taste. Mm. Oh my god, oh man, that's crazy. Why is it so good, do you think? Wow, you did well. Is it, you did well. Is it a perfect chocolate peanut butter combo? So, so far, that's what we're going for. Damn, dude.